So I came across this eBay store this morning and they're doing really well in terms of the amount of money that they're making. And the reason why I'm able to know exactly how much money they're making is by using Zeek Analytics. Because if I just log into my account, as you can see, they're bringing in over $181,000 in a single month. And the reason why they're able to make this money is because they're doing certain things that I've also done with my eBay businesses over the years that's enabled me to quit my full-time job, travel the world to various different amazing locations while still being able to bring in a source of income from my eBay businesses even when I'm on holiday. And I'm going to break down maybe five or six different things that I've identified that this eBay seller is doing so that you know exactly what you should be doing as a complete beginner that's looking to succeed as a brand new eBay seller. So jumping back onto their store, one of the first initial things that they're doing that all of you need to bear in mind when it comes to starting any e-commerce business in general is their branding. Automatically, when any customer comes across their eBay storefront, they're going to automatically know what type of products they specialize in, which is obviously golf related products. This is something that I've personally done with all of the different eBay stores that I've started over the years, which is that I've made sure to include the niche or maybe the product name in the actual name of the business so that whenever customers think about buying from me or maybe one of my competitors, they're gonna lean more towards me because they're gonna see me as a specialist for those types of products. And that's something that this eBay store is also doing because if we just take a look at the types of items that they're selling, it's things like golf gloves, golf caps, golf bags, and of course, golf clubs. They haven't allowed themselves to get distracted by selling other trending items that don't have anything to do with golf and they've stayed within their realm of expertise. If you wanna be able to give yourself the best chance of having long-term success with an e-commerce business, this is something that you might wanna consider. Now, of course, you may want to go down the route of starting a general store, which is where you're gonna be selling various different products from various different categories. And you may also be successful if you do that, but if you did wanna go down the route of starting a niche business, this may put you in a position where you're gonna be able to attract the idle customers and give yourself the best chance of success over the foreseeable future. All right, so swiftly moving on to the second thing that I noticed that this eBay seller is doing that's allowed them to make over $181,000 in a single month is the fact that they've maintained a really high positive feedback percentage. Now, for those of you that are new to selling on eBay and you're not really sure of exactly how it works, whenever a customer buys something from you, they can either leave you a positive feedback, neutral or negative. And of course, when it comes to succeeding with an eBay business, you wanna try and make sure that you're accumulating as many positive feedbacks as possible. Reason being is because the more negative feedbacks that you get, the more this number over here is going to drop and drop. So customers that are considering to buy something from you, if you have built up a lot of negative feedbacks, don't necessarily need to read each and every review because they're gonna be able to take a quick look at your percentage. So that's why with all of my different eBay businesses, as I was scaling them and as I was trying to grow them, I primarily focused on doing everything possible to make sure that customers was leaving me positive feedbacks. And there's so many different ways that you can do this. The first obvious way that you can do this is by giving the customer exactly what they ordered. So many beginners make the mistake of not accurately describing the products that they're selling. For example, they may be selling a blue item, but they make the mistake of putting the word red in the eBay description and the customer's obviously going to expect to receive a red item. Making a rookie mistake like this is going to lead to more and more negative feedbacks and that's what you want to avoid. A second thing that you can try that I've also done over the years when it comes to building up more positive feedbacks is to make sure that I'm shipping out my orders on time. If you promise the customer that you're going to ship out the order on a Monday, then you need to make sure that you ship it out on a Monday and not on a Tuesday or a Wednesday. If you're able to ship out all of your orders on time every single time and you're also able to give the customer a high quality product and exactly what they ordered then there's no reason for them to not want to give you a positive review and let me show you exactly why having a high feedback percentage is really important so if i just jump onto ebay right now and type in golf gloves just like that and click on search eBay is going to present your feedback score to the customer in this section over here. So as the customer is scrolling through, considering which one to click into, they're not going to click into your one if you have a really low score. Okay, so moving on to one of the next things that they're doing that's allowed them to make over six figures in a single month is the fact that they are consistently adding brand new products to their store. And you're not able to see that on the face value of just looking at their storefront just like this because eBay doesn't show you exactly when the product has been listed. But the reason why I know that they're adding new products is because if I just jump back onto Zeek Analytics and scroll down over here, Zeek Analytics is gonna be able to show me the upload date in terms of when the seller first listed all of these different 
top products in their store that's bringing in the most sales in the last 30 days and straight away we can see that a lot of their high earning products was listed this year a lot of them was also listed in 2021 2022 there's a lot of different types of products in terms of the years that it was listed but they're consistently adding new products every single year and the reason why this is important is because a lot of people believe that they're going to be able to find five winning products, 10 winning products, and they're gonna be successful forever when it doesn't really work out like that. This is something that I've had to learn whilst building my eBay business, which is that it's super important to make sure that you're consistently adding new products on a monthly basis if you can. The more you're able to build up your inventory base, the more chances you're gonna have when it comes to bringing in sales on a daily basis. And to show you exactly what I'm talking about, if I just scroll up to this section over here, Zeke Analytics is able to show me all of the active listings that they currently have on their eBay store at the moment, which is over 1,700 units. So because they've got this many active listings in their eBay store ready for customers to buy right now, it doesn't mean that they're gonna make sales for every single one of them because you can see over here, the successful listings was only 468 but the more active listings they have again the better chance they're going to have when it comes to selling more and more products okay so on to another thing that this store is doing that i've done with majority of my e-commerce businesses is the fact that they've got a high average selling price so as you can see the average price of the products in their store at the moment is $79. So what this means is that some of their products might be priced slightly higher than this and some products might be priced slightly lower, but this is going to be the average price. And one thing that I see so many people making when they first start selling products online is that they try and price it really, really low in terms of their competition when that isn't the best way to do it. Now, of course, when you first get started, you may want to price it cheap for you to get sales so that you can rise higher in the search results. But over the long term, you don't want to compete on just price alone. You want to try and brand yourself as a specialist for the products that you're selling so that you're going to be able to charge a higher amount. And that's something that they're clearly doing because I'm sure that other people that are selling golf related products probably have an average price of maybe 30 or 40 dollars but because they've been able to build up a strong brand on the ebay platform when it comes to customers trusting them for their golf products that's the reason why they're able to charge a higher amount and because they're able to charge a higher amount, that's the reason why their revenue every single month is really, really high. So always remember that when you first start selling on eBay, you don't want to just compete on price and try and have the lowest price possible in terms of your competition. You want to compete on other things. For example, you want to try and have faster shipping. You want to try and have a better feedback score. You also want to try and compete in terms of the quality of the products that you're sending out. Ultimately, you just want to find other ways to compete rather than trying to have the cheapest price possible. And this now brings me on to one of the final things that this store is doing that I believe has been a big contributor to their success is the fact that they're using custom listing templates and for those of you that don't know exactly what a custom listing template is I'm going to show you exactly what it is right now so I'm going to click on any one of their products let's go back over to Zeke Analytics and click on their best performing product which is this one it's going to take me straight to the actual listing and if I just scroll down just like this when I say custom listing template as you can see the listing starts from this point over here so they've got their logo at the top right there. They've got all of these different links that take the customer to their eBay store and other sales and promotions. And they've also been able to clearly lay out the most important things that the customer needs to see so that it's clear for them. For example, you've got the image of the item on the left hand side and you've also got the product description over here at the top, shipping details, return details, and information on exactly how the customer can contact them. So as the customer is scrolling through, they're gonna be able to get all the necessary information they need for them to make a buying decision. Not only that, with the custom listing template, it makes this eBay seller look a little bit more professional. And again, this is something that I've personally done with majority of my different eBay stores over the years. I always try to do everything possible to give my eBay businesses a professional look because it's so easy to stand out amongst all of the different sellers if you are doing things that all the other sellers are not doing. And because the majority of the sellers on eBay at the moment are amateurs that are maybe just selling things from around the house and they're not looking to build a long-term business by doing something as simple as using a custom listing template you're going to stand out and to show you exactly what i'm talking about as you can see this seller has been able to sell 58 units and they're the one that's using the custom listing template however if we just go over to this ebay listing over here even though the price is slightly cheaper and they haven't managed to sell any at all as you can see and it could be due to the fact that they're not using a customized list and template and of course this is just an example there could be other reasons as to why they haven't been able to make any sales 
for this item but I'm sure that you get the point and I'm sure you would most likely want to buy from a seller just like this rather than an eBay listing like this. So I'm sure by now you must have a better understanding of exactly what you should be doing as a brand new eBay seller when it comes to building the foundations of your eBay store in the best way and if you've enjoyed any part of this video so far don't forget to press the like button as it lets me know exactly what type of content you guys want to see and don't forget to subscribe as well hit the bell notification so that YouTube can let you know when a new video has been released and if you also want to sign up to Zeke Analytics for a seven day trial so that you can spy on your competition just like this see exactly how much money they're making how many items they've sold and what are their best performing products so that you can go away and replicate the success that they're having make sure that you click the link in my description down below for that seven day trial and if you also want to watch another youtube video that i made not too long ago where i break down some other tips and tricks that you want to be aware of when it comes to making money with an ebay business or an e-commerce business in general then make sure you click the link right there check that out straight after this one because it's already helped out thousands of people and i'm sure that it's going to help you out too all right guys i'll see you on the next one make sure you stay safe out there peace